Hi, welcome to ERP Next. In this webinar, we will cover the new features which are added in ERP Next version 11. So let's get started with preferred revenue. Uh, the feature uh, on which we will be talking is uh, the deferred revenue. So uh, deferred revenue is uh, one of uh, the very common uh, features which is used in, in, in the various ERP. Sorry. So uh, basically it is uh, uh, it's uh, one of the revenue recognition. Uh, so how do you recognize your sales and all? So the standard accounting practices says that uh, if uh, you are uh, if if you are using some uh, services or the product on which you are uh, receiving the advance payment from from your users, so uh, uh, you shouldn't uh, book the income as uh, as you receive the advance payment, so uh, you should uh, uh, you should book the income in a time frame as uh, as you keep uh, uh, providing the the services to your users. So you you should uh, uh, keep booking that. So uh, in your uh, basically uh, there are three things uh, which we have to uh, do in order to set up a deferred revenue. Uh, in our system. So uh, <laughs> let me start with one of the item in which. Uh, uh, okay, so it's uh, I have created one item. It's uh, Netflix events uh, machine. So in item there is uh, one section named deferred revenue. So you can uh, enable the deferred revenue for a particular item, and. Uh, uh, you can set the uh, revenue account from, I mean, you can create uh, a different uh, account in the chart of account if uh, if your service item is uh, for a shorter duration for a few months. So you can uh, you can place that in your current liability or if uh, that spans for a year. So you can uh, you can place this account in a, a long term liability section. So uh, I have. Uh, enable this uh, deferred revenue for this particular item and number of months for the services is three months. So uh, you can create an item from here. So uh, whenever we will be creating uh, invoice for this particular item, so this account will be used for uh, uh, booking the revenue. So uh, I, uh, you can set the this account here or you can also set it in the company. So there is, uh, if we open the company. So in company, there is also one field where you can uh, set uh, the company wide uh, deferred revenue account. So you can set it here or on of uh, the uh, item. So basically, it will first check uh, for the item defaults and then the company defaults. So uh, I have uh, created one sales invoice for this. Let's create a new sales invoice for this particular uh, item. So, if I'm creating uh, a sales invoice and the deferred revenue is checked, so it will uh, automatically fetch all the details from the item itself. So there is uh, there is also one section in the item checking table. So um, here it has pulled uh, the details for item master. The service start date will be the posting date itself, and accordingly, the service end date will be calculated uh, from the number of months in the item. So, if I if I save it and submit this uh, particular invoice, so initially the booking will be done in uh, uh, in this deferred revenue account. I mean, uh, the uh, uh, whatever booking will be done, it will it will goes into the deferred revenue account. Okay, uh, let's check the accounting laser. Okay, so uh, this uh, the whatever is the total amount it is debited from debtors and credited into the deferred revenue. Now, what will happen? It, it's like. Uh, uh, this uh, the income from the deferred revenue will be 
will be booked in into the sales or whatever will be there uh, in the income account here uh, on the pro data basis so i have already created one uh, another invoice for this item in which i have created all the accounting entries so for this uh, um this is the services is for uh, three months so i have uh, uh, created one uh, invoice in which the services is being provided from 15th may to the uh, 15th august so initially if we'll, we will check the uh, the real entry will be done uh, okay so it is uh, the booking is done uh, on on the 15th or on the submission of uh, that particular invoice and gradually on the pro data basis at the end of every month uh, some uh, some amount will be deducted from this uh, uh, from a deferred revenue account and uh, will be booked in the income so if uh, i check on 15 this is uh, on the 15th of may so if i check on the till first or i should create it on here so on on the last day of uh, of may i mean 31st of may on the pro data basis this uh, uh, this amount is debited from the deferred revenue and booked into the sales similarly uh, the booking will be done uh, on every month on the basis of uh, how for how much time will the services will be provided so if we check from uh, this is for booking for the may so if we check uh, booking for the june so we can also check this for the june so let's um, so here here is the booking for uh, for the month of the june and uh, uh, similarly all the bookings will be done so if we check uh, uh, i mean we can also check all the bookings which is uh, done for this particular item since our uh, last booking will be done in the uh, on on the last day of the august since the services is being provided in till the 15th august so, so if we check that so uh, we will see that uh, initially this uh, these entries are done uh, on the submission of uh, the sales invoice and these entries are being done uh, on the pro data basis on on the uh, end of every month so 